All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Mavis. This is Cyberpunk 2077 uh, Phantom Liberty version 2.1, I think. Hopefully. <laughs> if I got that wrong, just let me know. Anyway, last time we checked off, we were on uh, the trail of Evelyn Parker, who we haven't heard from since our heist. Am I going the right way? Here we are. Closed. Don't you have somewhere to be? Taking your shit, woman. Uh, heated exchange there with Judy. What was that all about? How's this any of your business? Gonna follow up with your own sermon on responsibility for others? Go on, your high horse is waiting. I'm just curious. One thing I know about curiosity won't get you shit unless you got the fists and the ass to back it up. Know what happened to Evelyn Parker? Why are you asking me? You talked to Judy about her already. Sure, but you're the boss. Might know something more. Evelyn jumped a mock ship a long time ago. And anyone not a mox is not my damn problem. Forget Evelyn. Admit it. This is about Judy's virtues, isn't it? Good shit, if I say so myself. Oh, my controller. Stop it. Nobody can hold a candle to Judy. Cuts virtues like they were diamonds. Damn straight. Magician is a card of self-confidence and adapting to situations through intellect and sheer will. The magician is a schemer who always has one last trick up his sleeve, who despite everything manages to stay afloat and remain in control of his own destiny. Badass. Either gone completely whacked or I'm having a mystical moment. Misty? Nah. More likely a neuron misfire for Victor to check out. Or maybe ask them both. sound. Hmm. Save a copyrighted music thing. Oh, 
Today, home. Come on, no kidding. Come on. What's the matter? What's going on? It's nothing. Okay. So nothing I can do if you don't tell me. <laughs> Guess that's that. Oh man, you're screwing with my head. There's that home. Way I see it, only thing waiting for you here is getting off or getting off. Place your bets. What have I missed this time? Enlighten me. Brain dance chick is hiding something. No coincidence we already saw two tiger claws. They must control the building. Arisaka and the tiger claws are in bed together. Go figure. Every corp plays dirty. Except the streets are more than that. They're filth. So the corps leave it to the gang. Suits collars and gets surprised. No, I mean, if Evelyn wanted to disappear, especially from Arasaka, she could have done better. This whole situation's bent over, cheeks spread wide. Someone's in a great mood. Not every day a half-brained dead chick drags me around a cat house on a wild horde chase. So having a grand old time. Council of Night City absolved 30 St. Judy's lion. Why? Little something called intuition. Ever heard of it? Oh, so what you meant to say was you're full of shit. Got it. Together, the gross income of these companies runs into tens of trillions of euro dollars. They take a blow up doll, dream all the and that's the That's the infidel. Welcome to Clouds, where we know what you're looking for. Would you care to jack into the terminal? Jack looking in, for an please. Evelyn Parker. She work here? Hmm. Give me a moment. Evelyn's not available at this time. Need to see her. It's important. The algorithm knows best. Trust me, it will choose a doll that will thrill you. Our dolls can change their hair and eye color in real time to look just as you wish. I just want to talk to her, that's all. Please, no need for concern. Your doll will talk to you about anything you wish. Jack in, please. Huh. I'm sorry, she finally say anything useful? Fuck the menu, let's ditch this waitress and take our special order to the chef, point blank. Meaning? Meaning you go in as a customer, keep a low profile. They want to keep their cards close, fine. We'll play our own game. All right, let's do this. This will be a live session, so events may take an unexpected turn. But don't quit if you feel uncomfortable. You could miss out on something truly remarkable. I might switch my controller over because If you feel unready funny. to handle what comes next, you can interrupt the session immediately. Now for your safe word. Samurai. And saved. Now bear with me a moment. Scanning your personal profile. You should see compatible dolls in just a second. Two matches. Interesting. Is that normal or... Who can say what is normal? You're clearly a unique person with unique tastes. Our system can handle it. So who will it be, Angel or Sky? 
What? What? <laughs> I didn't get to see. I didn't get to see. Oh, fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Hold on. Here we go. Rather go with Sky. I couldn't have chosen better myself. Now for the payment, and you'll venture into the clouds. There you go. And the payments come through. The entire floor is open to you if you wish to wind down first. Sky awaits you in booth nine. Disconnect, please. Is that it? <clears throat> we have a strict no weapons policy here at Clouds. Please deposit any and all hazardous items with me. Only two willing to spread their legs for you. Sad. Go eat a dick, Johnny. Clouds is one of the safest... We hope you enjoy your stay. Guess that makes you a real deviant. <laughs> Would have had more choices if I didn't have a certain brain parasite. People who know me real well can use my real name. Okay, then. Fee. Well, looks like this will be interesting. So, Fee, you're dying. How'd you know I'm dying? Deep inside, you fear this. Cower before it. So what if I do? Why do you care? Of all the voices in your head, the loudest is that calling for help. Look around. All of this is your doing. There's something in those mirrors way back. It's a projection. Your inner landscape. Just what I needed. Therapy with a robo-hooker. I'm not here to analyze you. That's not something I do. I'm here to fulfill your deepest, most hidden desire. Looking for someone named Evelyn Parker. Used to work here. Know her? Know where she is? You need answers. That's clear. Just not the ones you think you need. Asked you a simple question. Evelyn Parker. Not the most important thing you're looking for, is she? I can smell your fear. You're afraid of something else. Just answer my question. Tell me where Evelyn is. Don't have time for a debate. Why'd the manager say she doesn't work here anymore? When was Evelyn last here? You know anything? Evelyn had her own story before it collided with yours. But I know you'll find her. 
You always get your way. You just kind of talk in circles, that it? I can't help you if you don't want to be helped. Oh, what's next? Meditation? Something like that. Try me. I was told this place would fulfill my deepest desires. Not what I was expecting, this. When true desires go unfulfilled, they turn into needs. We are here to reach for them and beyond. We are here to understand. So what is it I need so badly? To come to terms with the fact that you died. Now move on already. That's tough. Rather let it eat away at me a bit more. Fear of death is what drives us all to do what we do. You're scared because you've given up on your dreams. What happened to becoming the best in all of Night City? Wasn't so long ago I really wanted that. But then all this shit happened. Seems like I was living in dreamland. I just want the world to know I was here. That I mattered. Instead of a dream, you're living a nightmare. You're afraid of being erased, as if you never existed. Or is it just the fear of becoming someone else? Different? The people I've lost live on in my thoughts. And that's what I'll be. A memory. Or just an annoying little voice in someone else's head. You don't see death as destruction, the end, but as a change. That thought alone could save your life. I'm afraid of becoming someone else, forgetting who I am. You're already becoming someone else. Every second of every day. Still, I feel... A connection between who I was and who I'm turning into. What you really fear is becoming someone you don't recognize in the least. <sighs> so what now? Now, you find out what it is you need to do. Which is? You gonna tell me? You've never backed down from anything in your life. Even when you maybe should have. You go through Night City knowing a stray bullet could end you while hailing a cab. But that's never stopped you from taking action. Going where you needed to go. And it won't stop you. I keep up with everything that's changing. You have been keeping up. You've made an impact. Not a single thing in this world isn't in the process of becoming something else. Likewise, you never look back. If you gotta kill, kill. If you gotta burn it all to the ground, then let it burn. Thanks, uh, for all this. Jeez, don't even feel like getting up. Few do, but everything has its end. Samurai. Oh, what's going on? Goddamn thing threw me out. Need to talk to you. Talk? You pulled the emergency brake, ripped me out just to talk? What happened? I do something wrong? Evelyn Parker. What do you know about her? Not much. Everyone's got their own booths, their own problems. Their own little bubbles. It's a fragile ecosystem. People like you barge in, violate it, try to rearrange. No.
I need this info. Name your price. Fuck you. Your Eddies and that girl of yours. I could get fired for doing something like this. I'll make it worth your while. All right, fine. Hand it over and get out before you land me in the shit. Anything out of the ordinary happen here lately? Fine. Heard a customer did a number on her. But that's all I know. Shit like that happens around here way more often than anybody care to admit. You ought to ask Tom. Two of them were inseparable, gossiping for hours on end. A customer attacked her? I guess. I don't know. Real mess that was. Security barged in, handled it. Things went silent. You don't go around asking questions here. Better off not seeing, not hearing. Keeping your head down. Where did it happen? Her booth. Told you. She was with a client. Can I just stand there or tell me a number? Eleven. This booth occupied now? Nah. I think it's been out of order since... Um... Need to get inside that booth somehow. Yeah? And do what? None of your biz. Can you open it or not? Sure. Just don't bother me again. Ever. Talk to Tom. Who's Tom? A doll. Like the rest of us. What do you think? An XBD star? Where'll I find him? VIP area. Booth 2, I think. Thanks. See? You turned out to be useful after all. Better deal. I would. I can't get in? What's that mean? I'm here every motherfucking week. You're not authorized to access the VIP area. Oh, yes, I am. No, sir, you're not. You can take it up with the manager. No, dog. I'm taking it up with you. Here, now. You got any idea who I am? Is there a problem? This conk don't understand that I've got a right to be in there. From what I can see, your VIP membership has been revoked. Say. What now? Please stay calm, sir. Or we're gonna have to escort you outside. Oh, no shortage of wise asses. I'll see. You're going back upstairs? In a minute. Need to piss first. Huh. Thing, whatever stand. Hard day. More like hard life. You better keep this short and sweet. Two brainwashed sex zombies in a single day is too much, even for me. Hi. 
Um, I think something might have gone wrong here. Not really sure, uh... I don't have your details? Sorry, no idea what I'm supposed to do. Need to get in touch with Evelyn Parker. It's important. You and me both. Tried calling her a bunch of times. No luck. Mean to say she's not here? She had an accident. Needed to go to a special clinic in Osaka. Or Oslo. I think it was Oslo. For a new faceplate. Osaka or Oslo? Which was it? Uh, Oslo. Yeah, definitely Oslo. Tell you herself she was skipping town? Nah, just didn't show up for work. Wasn't picking up either, so... I asked Woodman what was up. Told me she left, like I said. Where can I find this Woodman? Probably got his feet up in the back office. Except it's off-limits to customers. Woodman? Who is he? Mr. Forrest. But everybody calls him Woodman. Never really known why. Okay, Mr. Forrest then. What's his thing? He's kind of like our caretaker. Finds new talent, deals with ugly situations. Got it. Could it be Woodman finally shed some light on this shit show? Man can only dream. The skull sponges in these dolls. Ugh. That's what they should be replacing. Let's take a look, shall we? See that? See what? Nothing there. Exactly. Should be a port right there for the doll to jack into. They rip it out? Wonder why. Not too much. Put it to a wound rather than a kill. Yeah, I'm good. Got some new hardware. Hmm. What's this? Client wasn't the one who flew off the handle. Something bitter in the ass. What do you think? Cyberpsychosis?
Sounds crazy, but she could have been remotely hacked. And that runner? Weird. Huh. <sighs> that was very uncomfortable to watch. Shut down all these cameras somehow. No clients allowed in here. Well, dear, close the door on the way out, would ya? As you can see, I'm very busy. Looking for a girl named Evelyn Parker. Got nobody working here by that name. But she used to. What happened to her? Probably did what all the dolls try to do. Found a unicorn to set her up for life. Ah, you could do better. Try Roxy over a booth too. Same heart-shaped ass. Behavioral chip will do the rest. Won't feel any difference. 
They call you Woodman, right? That because you have as much charisma as a tree stump? Somehow I doubt you understand the situation. Situation? Here. What situation? Think I give a cat's turd about every slut who walks through here? Doll goes missing, client gets messed up, and management's just sitting there, sucking his thumb. Pretty strange for a place that advertises itself as 100% secure. Yeah, you're gonna get to the bloody point. I can see it already. Headline in tomorrow's scream sheets. Got all the evidence I need, to. Hey, we don't need to spill any ink over this. It'd just make things worse. All right, fine. I'll lay it on you straight. Girl, you're looking for Parker. She ain't here. Tell me something I don't know. Like, where is she? Think you know how things work around here, but you don't know shit. Dolls aren't here to give you pleasure and satisfaction out of the goodness of their soul. They're workers. Their jobs to generate profit. Evelyn stopped pulling profit? No denying that, sadly for her. Saw what she did to the client. She gets spiked or something? Whatever or whoever fried her circuits, it came from outside our submit. They played their deck like a virtuoso. Her chip was fucking rot. Believe you me, we tried to fix it. Didn't even come close. They common? These kind of accidents? Ever use tech that never broke? Didn't think so. Behavioural chip splits you right down the middle. Some people plain lose their minds. And for everyone that does, there's a dozen in line to replace them. This you talking it out straight? What happened to Evelyn? Got an order from up high to recycle her. You killed her? No. I found a ripper doc who was willing to take a look. Eh, said he knew something or other. You took her to the ripper instead of following orders. Didn't take you for someone with balls. For fuck's sake, I'm not running a slaughterhouse here. Only recycle as a last resort. And family always gets a call. If there is any. Think there are any daddies out there willing to change the diapers of a brain-dead little slut on the verge of cyberpsychosis? Probably not. Casting him out on the street ain't an option either. Can't risk tanking our crit. Well, anything's better than a bullet to the brain. <laughs> You know, that's what every doll says. I'm starting to like you. You looking for work by any chance? You invested your own eddies to help poor, unprofitable Evelyn? Please. <laughs> you got me. Ripper's the one who paid me. For a broken doll. People got all kinds of kinks. Trust me. I know, considering where I work. Fingers is a real specimen, though. Got all the fetishes, even the ones you've never heard of. I'm sure he found her a nice niche. <laughs> the Ripper. Name and address. Don't know her last name. Don't fuck with me. I'm not. Goes by Fingers. Clinic's in some godforsaken alley up on Jig Jig Street. Wanna find Evelyn? Look there. And don't come back here. Ever. While you're at it, take the elevator. The quicker you're out of here, the better. Dark fingers on Jig Jig Street. Sounds like a co-ed's wet dream.
Whoa. What is that? You may take your weapons. A pleasant day to you. The next time you have that urge for clouds, don't wait. Got a real charm, this place. In that slimy, subterranean kind of way. Think Fingers has got her? Think we'll find her there? V, if I could see that far, I wouldn't be a fucking ghost on a chip in a corpse's head right now. See, her opinion about dollhouses hasn't changed. Oh, but it has. Before, I wouldn't have touched one with a ten-mile pole. Now I'm thinking a fire'd really make this place shine. City. I'm Jillian Jordan with M54 News, and this is your local latest. The NCPD has urged caution when using data terms. <coughs> you had a plan, you tried, it fell flat. Now you're flat. Don't look in any condition to find Elmer. In response to increased gang activity, the mayor's office has raised the public threat level to red. <laughs> the hell's that? No, no, damn it! Jesus, the fuck do you want from me? It's all going too slow gonna decommish before we learn how to rip the chip out. Wanted me dead. Said so yourself. Made it pretty clear since that I changed my mind. Want you to live now. Asked you already. What the hell do you want from me? I got a get out of jail free card. I'd be a fucking fool not to take advantage. See, me and Arasaka, we got a half century old score neat settling. And I plan to do it. That's what I need you for. Never been recruited into a terrorist cell before. I feel kind of honored, actually. Listen, I know things. Where we can save your life. Who can help us do that? You'll get rid of the chip. I'll smash Sokka. Win-win, kid. Soul Killer's what we need. And Makoshi's how we grab it. You know, you're just an irritating hallucination, right? Should just ignore And you're a walking corpse. Should just wait till your mind shrivels to nothing and frees up space for me. You fucking asshole. But as should be obvious, I've decided to help you. Need to find something first. Seven letters. Starts with an M. Okay, so this Makoshi, what is it? Exactly. Okay, basics. If you're jacked in, cruising the net, Arasaka can use Soul Killer, an AI, to trap, fry, and pack away your psyche, your mind, and your soul. Following so far? Yeah, seen the memories. Did a real number on you. Okay, seems we've got a few more things to broach than I thought, but that'll come later. Anyway, when Soul Killer fries, roasts, and boils you, you die. But the contents of your mind get copied to an engram first. Sure. <clears throat> That's how you became a construct. Exactly. Now, Makoshi's the place Soul Killer operates out of, where it stores its victims' engrams. Still don't see how Makoshi's linked to my chip problem. Not the brightest bulb on stage, are ya? Fifty years back, ops on the human mind. Makoshi was the sole place on Earth where they did anything like that. 
Bet it still is today. Telling you, all roads lead there. It's where we'll settle our biz. You yours, me mine. And uh, how you plan to smash Arasaka this time? Got another nuke tucked away? This time bombs named Alt Cunningham. I'm supposed to know who that is. Not yet, but you will once we find what we need. For now, we got no time to lose. Need to get inside Makoshi. That's for sure. Maybe something to fix up some of the units, too. There's water damage. All right. I'll take care. V, you called. <laughs> Promised I'd call, didn't I? Promising one thing, keeping it's a whole other bag. So, managed to learn anything? Evelyn's not at Clouds anymore. Behavioral chip was damaged. Apparently they carted her off to a ripper dot goes by fingers. Oh shit. Know where to find this fingers character? Yeah, runs a dinky chop shop off Jig Jig Street. Fuck V. Guys all kinds of bad news. Heading there now, to find her. I told her to stay the fuck away from clouds. Oh, Alright, later V. No, oh, he's still out here this time. Nice. Waves are synced up to the sound of 88.9 Pacific Dreams. Hello, Night City. Thank you for tuning in. It's time for the local news. The long-awaited execution of Joaquin Schmidt, better known as the Watson Butcher, is scheduled to take place tomorrow. The 27-year-old confessed to the murder of 21 people, including his own sister and mother. His execution will be open to the public, and for those who prefer to watch from home, it will be live-streamed at the address you see at the bottom of your screen. This event's organizer, Capital Corrections Incorporated, Hiya. promises a compelling spectacle as well as attractive prizes for a few lucky viewers. Attention Charter Hill residents. A recent study commissioned by All Goose has shown hazardous levels of lead and cadmium in your tap water that pose a significant risk to human health. The Nice City Department of Water Management has attributed any elevated toxicity to obsolete municipal piping, though has made no plans. Oh my, place has a wicked heart. Mm. Well, don't you look delicious. Come here and let me have a bit. ongoing delays on the M2. So it's more up your alley. Than here, clouds. Katie, Katie, hey, what's at least the here rush? You know what you get. B, can you talk? It is important. What's important? I may have found a solution to the problem we share. Yeah. I have established a contact with an old friend from Arasaka. He's here in Night City now. He's well connected to certain influential people. That's gonna help us how, exactly? There will be a meeting. You, me, well, and this well, friend of mine. What do we got here? You will tell him what you, you told just me. The, cutest the truth thing. of events at the Cockpit you're looking Plaza. For a release, I have little hope be that he man. will be convinced. But it will be a start. Of all people, you ought to know Night City tests everyone's reliability, even that of old friends. Sure about this guy? Trust him? Many times we have had the opportunity to kill one another. Yes, I trust him. Stand by, I gotta use the restroom real quick.
Right back. Fine. Where's the meat and when? Japan town. After sunset. I am sending you the precise location. I'll see you there. Got an issue needs sorting out. Here to do that. So how about you fuck off, let me through, and no one will be the wiser. So serious from the get-go? I was only joking, sheesh. Fine. Let her through, sludge. No, no, I'd, I'd rather live here. Just don't turn off the lights. Summer means rain. Means I have to sit in the basement the whole time. Hey, you all right? No way I'm gonna swim. I hate water. Can't you see nobody cares? Hey, hands off her. Think I'm scared of your skinny ass? You will be when every mox in town descends on this shithole. You got a financial claim? Take it to court, you pussy. Fine, I get it. Everyone's got their breaking point. Just pay me what you owe me, and you can fuck off the greener pastures. <laughs> I don't owe you shit. <laughs> oh, but you do. And that shit has a name. Something around 20 thou. What? Come on, you pulled that number out of your ass! Hey, what's that tone with me, you skank? Hey, look in the mirror. Who paid for all that? Think fingers would have fixed a crack face plate for free? You want out? You gotta pay me back. V, hey. Hello! There's a line! Nuh uh, you ain't cutting. <laughs> Sit your ass down Fingers and wait guy. your turn! You know him? Heard some things, yeah. Like... His hand sometimes slips. Glad to see a familiar face. I'm worried sick about her, V. Had no idea anything had happened. We'll find her. I know we will. After the heist, Evelyn holed up with the mocks for a while, right? That's right. So why the hell did she go back to Clouds? <sighs> Thought she'd be safer there. God knows why. Tried to get her to see straight, but she wouldn't listen. You talked to Fingers yet? If only. He's harder to get in to see than the best docs in town. We're gonna be here forever. I just know it. Maybe you could talk to those girls? See if we can cut in front? Why me? I don't think they like me. Just give it a shot. That or come up with something better. Oh my god. You seen a woman with blue hair around here? Had a doll chip. Uh, think I know who you're talking about. Fingers worked on her, sure. She's still here. No idea. Gotta ask him. My friend here, she's in really sorry shape. Couldn't let us cut in front just this once. Ugh. Ugh. Of course. Honey, be my guest. Well, now hold on. Hold on a sec. Didn't seem so bad just a minute ago. She's a toughie. Keeps it inside, mostly. Now Come on, let's go. Luscious lips of yours. Mm -hmm. How about now? Better. Wait, something's wrong. Can't see nothing but a blur. Faceplate's previous owner had a longer face than you. Edges are stretching your optic nerves. Thank you. 
think he's done. Don't we going in? Here I Eventually. Yes? Hello. What can I do for you? Looking for a girl named Evelyn Parker. I know she was here in your clinic. Ah, so that's what this is about. Where is she? Ah, a loaded question if I've ever heard one. You, Tiger Claws? As far as I know, I'm all paid up. We're with the mocks. The mocks? Why didn't you say so? So, what brings you here? These girls know your chip and faulty implants? You might say so. I'd say they're the very best I can find. See? What's in it for you? Whatever they have to offer. And they always have something to offer. <laughs> You're a sick fuck. Know that? You're looking for a friend? <laughs> Heard you help the working girls around here. Well, very few children will play with broken toys. So when skin goes flabby, sockets go out of whack, implants malfunction, I'm sure you get the gist. You pay for goods, you expect top quality. Consumerism 101. Please, scrapyards offer better quality than this. Already told you. I'm looking for a woman named Evelyn Parker. Need to know where she is. Step into my office, please. Many girls come through here. So many. But let me put it to you this way. I believe in giving each of them the personal touch. I'm more than a chop doc. See, I know what people truly want. To be flattered, praised, patted. To feel like like they deserve it. Of course. I can't remember each and every one. Even if it's a specimen as exquisite as you. Wind shittery soon as I mentioned her name. Don't try getting out of this. I know you remember her. I, I have a neurological condition. It's not easy living with ticks. Really, I'd love to help, but if only I knew who you were talking about. Forest. They mean anything to you? No. Nope. They call him Woodman. Works at the dollhouse. You... you talk to him? I'm the one asking the questions here. Was Woodman the one who introduced Evelyn to you? Introduced? <laughs> Interesting choice of words. Rolled her in on a gurney, more like. She was out of it. I honestly couldn't believe she wasn't dead. Never mentioned her name, so... I just called her Doll. Poor girl. Tried to help her, I did. But as you can see, this isn't exactly a state-of-the-art facility. Mentioned you couldn't help her. Help her with what, exactly? If I only knew, I wager she'd be standing here, happy and smiling. Instruction register on her chip was burnt to a crisp. Tried replacing it. Nothing. Damage was caused by a netrunner using homebrewed malware. Sounds about right. Get to the point! The point? Ah, yes. Well, I haven't the faintest idea where she is. Enough of this bullshit! What'd you do to her, you freak? 
Now, either you put a muzzle on this creature or put her down. It's impossible to have a conversation with her around. Don't talk to her like that. She insulted me. Look, the quicker you spill, the shorter you'll have to put up with us. Now, Evelyn Parker, where is she? Could very well be on her way to becoming the next underground brain dance, darling. That's all I know. What do you mean by underground? I don't know. I mean, I don't watch that sort of stuff. Snuff? XBDs? I told you I don't know. You sure about this? Four days I had her here. She was out cold in La La Land for practically every minute. It wasn't a slumber party. We didn't have pillow fights and promised to send each other postcards. Where will we find her? How many times do I have to repeat myself? I don't know. I, I did what anyone in my place would do. When I realized I wouldn't be able to help her, patch her up, I called my fixer. Two guys came and picked her up the same day. Who'd you call? Who's your fixer? Wakako. Told her I had a busted doll with a BD implant to hand off. Where did they take her? I told you already. I don't know. They weren't the talkative kind, and I'm no gunk. I know better than to ask questions of people like that. You're no gunk? What do you think? Why'd all these girls come in here, let you grope around them? Think it's for your charm? Your caring attitude? They do it because they got no choice. And in the end, they despise you. They can smell you pathetic. These guys, what did they look like? Like you, me, anyone else in this city. Really now, they looked like you. They looked like the kind of guys you don't make eye contact with. One of them was a bearded fellow. The two that came for her didn't say anything about where they'd take her, what they were going to do to her. Mentioned something about virtues with a moth, of all things. Said she'd be perfect for them, whatever that means. But that's really all I know. You ponder off like she was some fucking inanimate mannequin. Because that's exactly what she was. Need air. I'll be outside. Judy's right. People like you make this city a living hell. Day in, day out. Got what you wanted, didn't you? So get the fuck out of here! Kill him. I let her go back to clouds. Could have stopped her, but I didn't. Trust me, Judy. Compared to the pieces of shit I scrape off my shoe every day, Fingers doesn't come close to being half their brand of rotten. Got no fucking words, V. None. Losing our cool won't do us any favors. It's a waste of time. Oh, I'm cool. Real fucking cool with the fact that Ev's probably already dead. You don't know that. And I'm sure as hell not gonna squander precious minutes we could spend looking. Only Lee, we got an XBD. Where's that get us? We also know we're looking for something related to the Death's Head. Better than nothing. I don't get your optimism. Still sounds like a big fat nothing to me. Death's head symbol bring anything to mind. Anything. 
Doesn't matter how small. This industry... I mean, Market's looking for every kind of fetish out there. It's cavernous. But an XBD outfit would be on the move almost always. Makes them harder to nab, harder to sting. Need to figure out where they're scrolling this stuff. Gotta be a rat hole of some sort. Doubt they do much shooting on location. Yeah, gotta be somewhere quiet, out of the way. Could be we'll see something to point us in their direction in one of their virtues. Ugh, have to be real gonks to leave a clue. Everyone, everything, leaves something behind. Just need to know where to look. Lucky for me, I'm running around with the best BD specialist in town. That's an extra pair of expert eyes. Well, your BD expert has a better idea. Pleasures of Night City, a domain with its twin on the dark net. Every kind of thing goes on there. Might stumble on something useful. Let me think for a sec. Think I'll try calling Wakako. Fix her fingers mentioned. Thought of an angle to run on her? Why would I need one? Even if she knows the studio's location, she's not gonna spill. Be putting her neck on the line. <sighs> okay. I'm buying the brain dance. We can analyze. Play detective. Fine. Meantime, see if I can't find something on the NCP domain. I'll wait in the van. Shoot his ass. Hello. You wanted to talk? How's things, Wako? This a prelude to whatever illegal favor you're about to ask me? What? Never! In that case, they couldn't be better. Kind of you to ask. And you? Looking for a brain dance. Oh, any particular one? Logo on the casing? A death's head moth. Whoa, now. That's quicksand. So I would advise caution. Know who makes them? Where they scroll them? And do you know what a fixer does? Allow me to explain. Not only do I finalize transactions, I can accomplish the goddamn impossible. Which would be... Making sure the buyer, supplier, and ever-neglected intermediary not only keep their heads in the games, but keep their heads, period. So don't you ever ask me who, with whom, where, when, why, or how. <laughs> Can you get me one of those recordings? No. But I have a pretty good idea who can. Who'd that be? There's a store on Jig Jig Street. It has a Pandora's box worth of crap inside. Try asking the owner. Thanks, Wako. All right. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of <laughs> Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty. Please hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you all in the next episode. Take care, and God bless. We're on the trail of Evan, folks. I wanted to kill that guy, but I just... I'm waiting for the right time. Waiting for the right time. Talk to you later, guys. Ciao.